Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. Today I'm really excited to take you on a tour of my sewing room, my dream sewing room. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe this is my sewing room. I'm very excited. I put a lot of effort into it and I will say that it's still a work in progress, but since my last update, which you can watch, uh, it's just so much has changed. I talked about some of the things I was going to do that have now actually occurred. So I'm really excited to kind of take you on the tour. But before I take you on that tour, I would like to tell you just a little bit about the journey. Would that be okay? It's just kind of the culmination of so many things that went into this space that as actually this the explanation of it will help you see some of the process and It'll make sense. It just makes more sense when you know the story. So the story, first off, I've been sewing since I was a little kid. My mom's a sewer and she made a lot of our stuff when we were little. And I just kind of grew up with the idea of, I want to make stuff, I want to make stuff. And we actually both have our own sewing room and we talk about sewing a lot. And so that was the start of it. And then when I was a mom and I had kids, you know, sewing was part of my life, but not a big part, believe me, I know what it's like to be a mom pulling the sewing machine out of the cabinet, sitting at the sewing, sitting and sewing at the dining room table and then putting it all away. It's not fun. I mean, it's okay. You want to, you want to get this thing made or you want to get this thing done, but I didn't have dedicated space and it was hard. And I wouldn't say that a sewing room was like on my dream list at that time, but that'd be nice, right? To have it all where you didn't have to put it away. That was like the big deal, right? Having to put it away. Along comes my YouTube channel, and I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was gonna talk about. I thought I was gonna talk about history because I love history. And I've done a few stories for some local things here in, um, in our business, and I wanted to share some of the cool things I learned along the way, and I thought I would keep doing that. And I really only have one, and it's my very first video. So if you wanna take a look at that. But then I thought I would also talk about our travels because we go some cool places. We live in a cool area. Also like to talk about beauty. I've always been into makeup and hair and fashion and all of that. And along came my camper. And that sort of just became what I wanted to talk about the most in my videos. And it's my favorite topic. Uh, it's my highest videos, but it involves sewing. So sewing and camper kind of went together because when I remodeled my first camper, which was a pop-up tent trailer, if you haven't seen it, there's a tour on my channel and I made cushion covers and it's a horrible video. I mean, really quality wise, I thought it would be cool and put music on it. And anyways, it's still my highest video of views on my tiny little channel and my basement was kind of just an all-purpose room and I decided to turn it into a YouTube studio. Yes, I'm going to get to the sewing room. Hang with me just for a minute. It's all going to make sense. We'll circle back. So I made my basement into a YouTube studio. Like, we're photographers. We have a photography studio in our little town and um, I just saw my YouTube set as a photo, like as a picture. I wanted the backdrop to be so, I wanted it to be in the blur. I, I had all these plans for lighting. And so really creating that set was so fun. And I still adore that whole setup. It's just, I got a couch from the thrift store, some curtains on Amazon, and it's just a cool space in a room that's just a catch-all. It's basically our all multi-purpose room. Empty nesters, we have extra rooms, you know. Lots of them. So now right next to that set was my sewing room. Sewing closet. It's really a walk-in closet. That's all it is. And I had really just filled it with all my lovelies, all my sewing stuff. And I thought I wanted to show the project uh, for the camper. And then I wanted to show another project and another project. And pretty soon I was showing projects, but it's so cramped in there. As a photographer, it's impossible to get a good picture in there. The lighting is terrible. There's no windows. It was, it was like, how I do, I'm so cramped. I can't show anything. And yet I did. And I have some videos in that room, all my sewing videos until now. And in fact, I even have one of the room and doing some decluttering. You have to see that. If you haven't seen that video, I can't put them all in the little swipey thing because you can only do five. So just kind of look through my different playlists and you'll see some of these different videos. But I did do a tour of my sewing room closet. 
I loved that room. I totally did. You know, a few months ago, I was in my home office, this room, and I was kind of just sitting there thinking about the lighting and trying to figure out another way to film in my sewing room because I was doing more and more sewing projects and I wanted to just make them nicer. And I thought, the lighting in here would be nice. I wish I had a window in my sewing closet. I wish there was a window. And then I thought, there's a window in here. I don't know. It just thought just kind of landed this could be my sewing room. I mean, it's my home office, but it's my room. I can do whatever I want with it. So I started thinking, bye-bye home office. This is gonna be my sewing room. It was already this color, so I didn't paint. I didn't have to paint or anything. It was just, it was just meant to be. So I made a video of that whole thought process and you can watch that and I sort of made a few changes and you can see me moving the desk out and you know just changing it a little at a time and then there was another update on the sewing room when I did this beautiful closet which I'm looking at right now and love my closet it's like oh this is such a great closet and so the sewing room has evolved now back to the story where I made this cool set, YouTube studio set in my basement, I started thinking of that same idea in my sewing room. So if you're a sewer and you have a sewing room, you probably really don't care about whether it makes a beautiful photograph or not. <laughs> but I do because I think about stuff like that as a photographer. I wanted my, my videos to have that same quality. And so I can play it's my life, it's my sewing room, and I have a very handy hubby. So I started thinking about that behind me. That would be my backdrop. And all of that is on purpose. So I'm thinking, I'm sitting here and I close the door and I see a big blank space right there, just a wall, a blank wall. And I'm like, that's not a pretty picture. So I started thinking, hmm, what could I put there? I could put a painting, I could put, and then I thought, fabric. It needs to be fabric. So I told him, hubby, and he made, it, he made the totally wrong thing first. He, he just misunderstood what I was asking for. And so I just like, I laid it out exactly what I wanted, and guess what? He made, am I pointing at it? He made the, uh, that. And, oh my gosh, it's, it's just beautiful. And doesn't it fill that space? In my beautiful photograph and then he made these shelves for me and I thought I don't want to junk them up with too much I don't want to make it so busy back there that it's not pretty anymore so I put up fabric that's fabric all on little comic board cart comic book boards and I just love it I'm gonna do more of that and put it in my closet it's so nice to see the fabric I can just kind of scan through it like a little library and see exactly what I have and then I had a hole I wanted to fill. I don't know if I can see it. Where's my... So I'm looking backwards and there's just this little hole. When I'm sitting at this table, it was blank. And so I thought, I told him, I need something there. Like, I don't know, I would like some little shelves. And so we're talking about shelves. He's talking about building something. He's kind of getting into it at this point. He's just fulfilling all my wishes. Oh my gosh, he really scored high marks on this whole project. And he comes home from the thrift store with that little cubicle thing. And I'm like, it's perfect. And I was gonna hang it on the wall where my painting is. And I set it down to work on it and it just fit that space didn't it? And then I thought, what can I put in there? Some colorful things. I can fill it with things. And then I thought, I really want some more fabric. <laughs> Just fabric. And then I thought, maybe I'll put some comic book cards in there. No. I made these amazing little boxes covered with fabric. And I will show a video on that shortly after this one because I loved how they turned out. And it is just the perfect little spot. So, the purposes of this room is my home office, which is right there where I make my videos and do things on my laptop. And then it's sewing and all kinds of crafts on my wonderful table, which hubby painted for me. I know I could have painted it, but he did a great job. And a YouTube backdrop. So that when I do make a video, it's, it's great. You know, it's just nice and pretty to look at. And I couldn't be happier with this space. So now let me give you the tour and you'll see the kind of story behind how I set things up because it's all about that corner because that's what you're looking at right now. I'm still working on this space right here. See right there I need something right there. Stay tuned. Let's take a quick tour. 
Let's start with this corner. Oh, I just love this view. So many of my favorite things. Just love it. So these are obviously my favorite colors. I love this rack. This is a display of fabric that my husband built for me. I just wanted to fill this space with some fabric. This is my ironing station. It's an ironing board that I made and it's on an Ikea cart. And this actually is removable. And I have a video on that. And I just use that mostly for ironing. But when I need a real ironing board, I do have one hanging on the back of this door. So I can pull out an ironing board. Probably made you dizzy just now. <laughs> On my shelves, just some favorite things. The mermaid was a gift from my son, and the doll is Annabelle. I won her on someone's blog. She's handmade. These are comic boards wrapped in some of my stash fabric. And I don't know if you've seen that, but it's a great way to store your fabric. Then this desk here has my brand new, I just made these fabric boxes. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to be making more of these. They're so fun. This is the only time I've made a painting. I painted. <laughs> I'm not a good artist. I did this at a sip and paint at our church and it just goes in here, but I'm not an artist. This is a chandelier that I had from a tea house and it's been in my bedroom for years and years and years, but man, it just goes in this room. Don't you think? Okay, so let's look in some drawers. Don't you always wanna look in everybody's drawers? All right, let's see if I can keep from wiggling. This drawer has my most often used supplies. Um, there's a little container with my needles back there and just basically things that I use most often. This drawer is like, same thing. Whoops, wrong one. Same thing, only bigger stuff. It's just a silverware organizer. Uh, didn't do a lot of organizing, but it's there. This drawer is a little bit more of lesser used items, some rulers, some pens, just kind of a little bit of a catch-all. This drawer has my makeup because I like to put my makeup on in this room. So it's right there. So I can pull that out. You're probably going to ask me what that is. It is an under desk elliptical. So I got this from someone else's blog. She has a great channel, so let me put a link to that so you can follow her too. Now we're into the sewing area, but first take a look at my view. Isn't it so pretty? So we live on acreage and I actually do see deer sometimes walking along. I haven't caught them with my camera yet, but I will. And I would like to say I made these curtains. I absolutely love how they turned out. And I'm gonna be doing the same curtains in my kitchen porch. And I'll make a video showing you how I made them. They turned out great and they were super easy to make. Um, I made this little cover for my sewing machine. I just free, free handed it and it has a little handle so I can pull it off. This is my brother's sewing machine. I have an unboxing on this that's a few years old. I just love this machine. I've just been having a great time with it. This section is a section I'll be working on. I've got some crafty ideas to make this look better. It's just kind of gotten junky. Just things that I use a lot. My serger, another cover that just kind of freehanded it, but I love that fabric so much. Another light and then more drawers. This is more like office -y stuff. And this one is thread and this one is thread and this one is thread my serger thread i don't have a huge collection i don't do a lot of surging this is my buddy the being that i spend most of my time with is buster and he loves it in here he just follows me in here so now let's do this section of the room now you may have seen my video where this was my home office and these shelves were built in when my husband was a little boy. His parents built them in for their bedroom. They shared this room. So it's a built-in and there's strange things about it. It's super deep. The drawers are custom made for this thing. It's kind of a monstrosity, but it's also very functional. 
except for this gap right there. I don't know why that is, but I think it was for a plug. <laughs> why not just move the plug? Okay, so I've got these shelves that I have I've not done a lot with since it was my home office. I can imagine some beautiful boxes and lots of fabric. I mean, I'm really looking forward to doing something with that space. My drawers are in transition. There's some office things and some empty. So I will be bringing more things up and putting them in these drawers. And I'm thinking of maybe doing some stencils or I don't know, something cool with the um, decorating the drawer fronts. So there's still a lot of things I would like to do. This is my closet. If you saw my last sewing room update, I had just finished this closet and oh my gosh, you really need to go see the before. It was terrible. This closet was terrible and now it's just a dream closet. I love it so much. It's still half empty. I'm still moving things in from my old sewing room, which was really just a closet that my, that this, it was a closet that was my sewing room, and now my sewing room has a closet. Isn't that cool? Some of these bins are empty. I have a bunch of bins that I could use that I got at the dollar store and Kmart, or, I mean Walmart, and then um, I'm going to be organizing it. I haven't decided exactly how. I have a lot of stuff that there's some more fabric. This is where I'm going to be hanging, and right now, things that I want to do next uh, there's some of my patterns. I bought these cool pattern hangers from Waywack. I also bought this cool hammer from Waywack. I haven't even used it yet. I'm really looking forward to organizing my closet. I just put up a dry erase board for my projects. And these are things I'll probably be doing videos on. My kitchen curtains. I definitely am going to show you how I made those cool fabric boxes. I'm into caftans lately. I don't know what happened, but I definitely am going to make one. Uh, for a video and there's a cool dress that I want to make and a camping custom sized duffel bag. So those are just a few of the projects and then I want to do some of my home projects on another dry erase board that's going to go right there. This bright light is a makeup light that I had in my photography studio uh, when I was doing more glamour stuff and I had a whole makeup section and I wasn't using it but man I put these day daylight bulbs in there and they're so bright that my work station I was gonna say area or station and it came out stereo <laughs> my workstation is right here I spend most of my time at this table this table was my husband's grandma's table it is enormous. When you put the leaf in, the table alone is huge, as you can see. But man, when you pull up these leaves, this whole table gets super long, like super long. So there's no project I can't do on this table. It's really great. And um, I could make it smaller, but I just kind of leave it this way. We're back to that area. So what do you think of my dream sewing room? I'm just in love with it. I do want to get some kind of real cool light fixture. That's definitely on the wish list. But that's about it. I'm st still a work in progress. It may always be so. Well, I'm not done. I still have more things to do. I mentioned them in this video and you never know what I'm going to come up with next because things just pop up, you know? And if you're wondering, I still plan on filming in my YouTube studio down in my basement. It, nothing's changed. It's right there and it's set up all the time and ready to go. So I will be doing more videos there and in my camper. And if you haven't seen my camper, there's a full tour of it on this channel. And next Friday, we're taking a trip and I'll be filming that. And uh, we just love sharing our trips and all of our camper escapades and learning we're getting pretty good at learning that knowing our campers is not as much learning as it used to be, but uh, still lots of projects. If you'd like to see some of those projects, please hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment. I love to hear um, from you. And if you have any requests for videos, especially things you've seen that I've worked on, I'm definitely doing the fabric boxes, but if you have anything else you want to know, please let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and then you'll see when I do, um, there's a little bell. If you click on that, you'll see when I do a new video, which hopefully will be a little bit more regular now that I'm not so obsessed with this sewing room and it took all my time. <laughs> so now that I'm almost done with this sewing room, I have a guest room that is just begging to be decorated and I have just 
gotten the bug in this room. I'm just not a natural born decorator, but this has really just kind of opened my eyes to the possibilities that I could do this. I could do this. Um, I look at a lot of pictures. I'm in a lot of groups on Facebook. I'm on Facebook every day. If you are on Facebook, come find me. Stephanie Farrell123. I'll put it right below here so you can see it. If you want to know the sewing room group I'm in or anything of the camping groups I'm in, I'd be happy to share. Give me a little message and let me know that you're there. And uh, that's just the easy way to get in touch and I'd love to see what you're up to. Oh my gosh, I have seen some amazing projects from people who have found my channel and then found me on Facebook. So I just love that. It's so inspiring. You know, I told hubby that I wanted to do that room. I'm pointing like, a, it's right over there. <laughs> when I told him, he didn't seem to react. Like, he said, okay. You know, he worked really hard on this room. I mean, he built every shelf in this closet. He did this table, he did those shelves, he did that rack, he did it. He did so much. I, I think he's kind of into it. What do you think? If you haven't seen my hubby, he's in some of our traveling videos, like the last one I just posted, he's in. And it, it's just surprising that he's willing <laughs> to go again. <laughs> I said, I think I want to do the whole house, honey. That's how empty nesters talk. We decorate. <laughs> When I had kids, nothing was decorated at all. I didn't even care. Like, I never even tried. Hope you enjoyed the tour. I'll see you next time. Bye now.